Hey guys, James here, back with another video, and today I've got something pretty exciting. It's a new uh, computer build. So this is essentially a really high performance editing slash gaming build. And it is to replace my current PC, which is kind of falling apart. It's getting really old. Um, it's not as fast when it comes to 4K video editing. And also my RAM sticks actually failed on me. So I'm using some old 16 gigs, which is not enough for editing. So I decided instead of buying another set of DDR3s, let's just upgrade to DDR4, buy an entire new system. And so here it is. So, so this, video, this video is gonna be really quick, just going over uh, the parts that I chose and why I chose them. So let's start off with the big guy, the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900. And I got this case for $369 and I was deciding whether I should get like a mid tower, should I get a full tower? And so I was a bit undecided about that, but eventually I decided to just get this one. I run a lot of fans and I leave my computer overnight, so having the noise dampening is a really good thing. So I'm really excited to see how this case uh, performs. Next is the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. It's the Aorus Extreme Edition 11 gigabyte, and it's a it's pretty much top of the line graphics card by Nvidia. I bought this for about $1,249. The reason that I decided to buy such an expensive graphics card was because I plan to keep this build for at least five to seven years. And so I want that high performance, not just for editing, but also for gaming as well. So that's why I decided to go on that. Now you can see a Samsung SSD there. I actually didn't buy this uh, for this build. I actually already have it in my current PC, but I just left it there just to give reference of what kind of hard drive I'll be using for my main uh, Windows. Going down below, you can see that's the Corsair HX1000i. Uh, and so, you know, running such a high-end graphics card and also running a lot of hard drives. I'm running up to uh, seven to eight hard drives and, you know, just a lot of peripherals. I just want a really good uh, power supply. So the H HX1000i seems to be a really good choice for that. And I love Corsair. I just have a brand loyalty to Corsair. So that's the reason why I went Corsair for that. Going across the CPU cooler, um, it's H115i and it's a dual 280 millimeter uh, radiator water cooler and the reason I got this is because I do plan to overclock my CPU uh, and I'm planning to do that for the first time. And so I really run a good cooler and it has those nice RGB LEDs on that front uh, middle bit. So that'll be really nice to have. Moving across, let's start with the CPU since we just talked about water cooling. So this is the Intel Core i7-7700K, pretty much top of the line CPU for the uh, 1151 LGA socket size and Obviously I got the K because I want to experiment with overclocking. Um, I really feel like, you know, I want to make full use of this uh, CPU. And so I was like, yeah, why not get the overclocking edition? Um, next to it is Vengeance RAM. And I bought two sets of 32 gigs. So that's a 64 gig total. And that is the maximum that the above motherboard, the Z270 Tai Chi motherboard by AS Rock can support. So. The RAM, you know, I do a lot of editing, obviously, you know, with this channel and a lot of my just other work and stuff like that. So 64 gigs is, you know, that's going to last me for a long, long time to come in the future. So these are Corsair Vengeance ones. Um, they're just standard heatsink, uh, 2400 megahertz. Uh, nothing special, nothing too special about that. And then next to it, you can see I have a five and a quarter inch to a three and a half inch uh, drive bay converter because I want to convert one of the drive bays on the dark boat on the Dark Base Pro 900 to uh, a hard drive slot. So with the AS Rock uh, Z270 Tai Chi, the reason I got this one was because uh, I just had, the biggest thing was it had a lot of SATA ports. So it had 10, up to 10 SATA ports and had three M.2 slots. Now those three M.2 slots do actually take up the same lines as the SATA ports, but that you know, I'm, I'm not too concerned about that because I won't be using M.2, I have an SSD, but maybe in the future that gives me the flexibility as well as it just, you know, looks looks nice, has the has the IO, has the IOs that I like and look out for the video where I actually do the unboxing of this Tai Chi and you'll hear some reasons why I chose this one um, over some other ones. So this is my current build and as you can see, it is massive. Um, let's just quickly put the new dark Base Pro 900 to it. It's a little bit shorter and it's not as long, but the big thing is the weight. This thing weighs a total of 27.8 kilograms, almost 28 kilograms. Obviously with the heavy construction, it's, it's massive. 
Plus, I've got this really decked out to the max. Of course, I haven't put any custom water cooling into it, but I've got heaps of hard drives. So, um, if you look at the front, so if I take this front panel off, every single one of these is filled with a hard drive. So, these two have two hard drives in there. There's a hard drive in here, as well as the four. And also, in this Lion Lee expansion uh, bay, uh, adapter I've got another three hard drives in here so this thing is super heavy super bulky and it's getting pretty old now so as you can see some Corsair Vengeance RAM got my Corsair water cooler in there I've actually got a USB expansion card which I actually didn't end up using uh, just because um, I hadn't had the time to connect those Molex connectors onto it I've got the WinForce GTX uh, 970, I believe. And you can see these uh, Silverstone uh, hard drive expansion slots and some LEDs uh, adapters as well. And if we flip around, you can see the extent of the hard drive chaos. So all these hard drives and I've just got, um, my SSD is just kind of sitting under there. If you can, if you can hear it, it's not very good. I've got a lot of fans on it as well, so it's quite it's been quite noisy. I've got one fan up top as well, which you can't really see, but it is a big, big case, big mess. So it's time to redo it. As you can see, I've got the AX 1200. Pretty old power supply, but it did its job. And I've also still using an optical drive, believe it or not. Still using uh, an LG Blu-ray drive. Um, I do watch Blu-rays on my PC and I do burn Blu-rays for uh, wedding videos. So, and that's a card reader which uh, killed one of my cards. So I'm never using that again. So that's it. Uh, so all these, all the hard drives that are in here, they're all gonna be moved across to the new build. And all the parts are just gonna remain actually in this case. It's just the hard drives that will be migrated across and um, an, on a hard drive from an old PC will be moved into this, so this will, that will get an upgrade in that sense. But yeah, I might stress some of the fans as well, but that's, the, that's it. That's pretty much it. In terms of what you'll see unboxing for, you'll pretty much see unboxing for every single thing here, minus the Core i7, the RAM, and the, uh, and yeah. That's it, maybe just, yeah, so I probably won't do the, the CPU or the RAM um, because that's pretty standard stuff. But everything else, um, you'll see in unboxing. So do subscribe if you wanna see more videos. Give it a like if you like this video. Dislike if you disliked it. Um, and yeah, really anticipate this, this series. So all these unboxings and all the stuff that is to come, uh, including the final uh, time-lapse build where I construct this beast. So yeah, subscribe to see those videos um, coming up and I will see you guys in the next one.